Hey everyone, today we are going to be talking about GPTbots.ai, a platform that enables developers to seamlessly integrate large language models (LLMs) with their own data and service capabilities, and easily build AI services. Or we can say this is an AI program that essentially allows you to create your own AI bots that you can actually share with other people and allows you to customize large language. language models so llms are a type of artificial intelligence that can generate and understand text they are trained on massive data sets of text and code and can be used for a variety of tasks gpt bot supports one click access to multiple mainstream llms developers can also customize open source models and fine tune services if needed When I was messing around with the software it was really cool because I was actually able to create my own bot that I could interact with that I could share with people the link of this website is available in the video description so to create a new bot click on the new bot button The first thing you need to do is choose between a question and answer bot and an AI assistant bot A Q&A bot is a simple chat bot that can answer questions based on a set of predefined answers. An AI assistant bot is a more advanced chat bot that can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. Once you have chosen the type of bot you want to create, you need to choose a bot name and bot logo. The bot name is the name of your bot. It's important to choose a name that is relevant to your bot's purpose. The bot logo is the image that will represent your bot. You can upload your own logo. Next, you need to write what your bot would say to start a conversation. This is your bot's welcome message. Your welcome message should be clear, concise and inviting. It should also be relevant to your bot's purpose. Next, the AI model will determine the quality of your bot's response. You can choose GPT 3.5 for Turbo 16K or GPT 4.0 to 8K. The temperature will determine how creative your bot's responses are. The lower the temperature, the more stable is going to be, and the higher the temperature, the more creative your bot's response will be. And then the dark correlation. This is optional. You can set this or not. And of course, we have get responses to relevant questions. So, for example, since this is a health bot, we probably do want to set this to not answer irrelevant questions. but if we were deploying this on like an actual application so for example if i was running a business i would definitely put this off because i would not want people to be asking my health bot certain questions about sports because it will still give it an answer so that's completely up to you so let's go ahead once you are happy with your bot settings click on the create button your bot will now be created to share your bot Click on the share button and choose a validity period. Click on the create share link button to generate a share link for your bot. And I am going to go ahead into another browser to show you how this works. So I have click paste in. You can share your bot with others by sending them the share link. You can see here I am asking questions about my health and it's giving me the answers. You can also use the gptbot.ai website to manage your bot and view its performance. It's really cool. GPT Bot supports one-click enable plugin capabilities in bots. Developers can choose from a large number of open plugins. In the plugin market, or quickly build enterprise private plugins based on the company's own data and services.
Plugins are a great way to add new features and functionality to your chatbot. For example, you can install plugins to add weather forecasting, translation, and even e cameras capabilities to your chatbot. One of the most popular plugins is the weather forecasting. These plugins allow you to add accurate current weather and forecast for any location to your chatbot. GPT Bots also provides bot with many practical functions such as long memory, short memory, voice conversation, human voice cloning, API, chat record management, external widgets, and token allocation. The bot debugging function is convenient for developers to improve AI development efficiency. So when you edit your bots, you can see right here that we have bot model and of course as you know, you can change the model and all that kind of stuff and you can change the temperature. Now what's crazy about this, you can also add suggested questions and this is crucial because it allows a much better conversation experience because sometimes you don't know exactly what to ask so this is something that you might want to turn on. Now let me explain something cool to you. You see there is this thing called knowledge learning that you can click on when you do something amazing happen. You see there is this thing called knowledge learning that you can click on. What I mean is you can put your own information into GPT bots AI. This is super cool because let's say you want to add some new information that came out after 2021. Like maybe there is something new in the health world. You can just type it in there and boom, it becomes part of the data. You know one downside of ChatGPT is that it only knows stuff up to 2021. But with GPT bots AI, you can add new things. For example, if there is some heart of the press news in the health world, you can just pop it in and now it knows that too. I find this mind blowing because you can't really do this with something like OpenAI. It's super efficiency and pretty awesome. The GPT bots knowledge base sports uploading knowledge data through Markdown, Excel, PDF, PPT, URL, etc. and performs operations such as patch update, text, editing, splitter, enable or disable and vector matching test on knowledge documents and document splitted vector data to achieve refined knowledge based management. There are all inclusive AI bots for you to choose from in the GPT bots market. Also you can open your bot for other users all over the world to use and benefits from it at the same time. Now let's talk about Flowbot. Flowbots are a new type of chatbot that GPT bot introduced recently. Flowbots allow you to create complex chatbots with multiple conversation paths. To create a flowbot, click create, enter a name for your flowbot and click create. You will now be in the flowbot editor. This is where you will add components and connect them to create your chatbot conversation paths. Components are the building blocks of flowbots. There are many different types of components. To add a components to your flowbot, each with its own unique functionality. For example, there are components for text input, text output, decision making and sending emails. To add a component to your flowbot, Simply drag and drop it from the components list on the left side of the editor to the canvas on the right side of the editor. To connect components, drag and drop a line from the output of one component to the input of another component. This will create a connection between the two components and define the flow of data between them.
Once you have added all of the components to your Flowbot and connected them, you can run it by clicking the run button in the top toolbar. And once you are happy with your Flowbot, be sure to save it by clicking the save button in the top toolbar. This will save your changes and make your Flowbot available to your users. So with Flowbots, you can create complex chatbots with multiple conversation paths. So I think GPT Bots is a must-have tool for any developer who wants to build AI services. It provides a comprehensive set of features and capabilities that make it easy to get started and build powerful AI solutions. So sign up for a GPT Bots account today and start building AI services. The link is available in the video description. So that's it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any question. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.